Monday, January 1st, New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Well, back in 1963, we had a New Year's Eve party. A big snowstorm was going on at the same time, and my mom, Tessie, she had the Tom Kiley family and the, and the Peggy and Joe Serino family all together at the house. And around 1030 at night, everybody decided to go see Uncle Mal. So everybody got their coats and their galoshes and everything on, and they went out into the snowstorm and walked over to Second Street to Mal and Evelyn's house. Well, we all decided that uh, we should sing a Christmas carol to him to get him to open the door. So there was Rudolph and Hark the Herald and Noel and Jingle Bells and Silent Night. And we sang all of them all at the exact same time. Ah, oh, it was total cacophony. You couldn't understand a word anybody was singing. And the light went on and the door opened and Uncle Mal looked out and he said, Good Lord, Evelyn, there's a posse out here. Get me my gun. Well, we, we all piled into the house and there really wasn't enough room for us all. And we're all sort of squeezing in all over the place in a dining room. Uh, Tessie and, and uh, Tessie and Aunt Peggy and Aunt Eleanor went into the kitchen to help Aunt Evelyn make coffee for everybody. Uh, I was up on the stairs in the dining room looking down. I was with cousins Rosie and Joey and some of the Kylies. And, and well, Uncle Mal sat at the head of the dining room table. And Uncle Tom Kylie and Uncle Joe Serino sat on either side of him. And they got him telling baseball stories. And that's when Uncle Mal told this story. Well, you see, me and my brothers, we all played baseball for all the factory teams back in the 30s. And uh, we play anywhere, you know. And, uh, well, uh, in the meantime, uh, Walter here, you know, Walter, you, you, you dated all the Kylie girls, Walt. Every one of them, he did. And, and Tessie's the one who took him seriously. So uh, Maurice Kylie and Agatha Kylie, you know, Tommy, your parents, they, they, they figured they needed to start thinking about how Tessie was kind of serious on Walt this time. So... They wanted to get away and, and think about it. In the meantime, w w us boys, us dead boys, we, we'd gone off to Sing Sing Prison to play baseball against the, the prisoners team. Oh, yeah, yeah, we liked them. We had friends, of course, in Sing Sing, and we could see them when we played ball for them. And we were over there playing ball, and turns out the mayor of New York City, Fioretta LaGuardia, yes, sir, him, he, he was there watching the game, and his people wanted to get some movie pictures of him shaking hands with the prisoners. Well, sir, now LaGuardia had put about half of them prisoners in prison to begin with, so they, they wanted to get their hands on him, too. So they decided that not be a good idea. Instead, they, they had our team, because we were there in the prison. We all looked kind of like prisoners, you know. We had our team uh, walk up to him and shake his hand so they could take their pictures. Well, sir, a few months later, there's uh, Maurice Kiley and, and, uh, and Agatha Kiley, and, and they're in the, the, they went to see a Jimmy Cagney movie. You know, just to get away from the family and think about this Walter Stead thing. And they're watching a Pathé News reel. And all of a sudden, there's Mayor LaGuardia on the Pathé News reel shaking the hands of the prisoners in Sing Sing Prison. And he's shaking Walt Stead's hand. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> well, everybody laughed at that. And then Uncle Mal looked at Tom Kiley and said, But it was all right, Tommy, because, you know, it's a good thing your family's Irish. They don't mind marrying a, a dangerous prisoner or criminal into the clan, do they? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, well, Happy New Year, everybody. See you again tomorrow.